What's up guys, Dan from Laser Everything here to show you a quick video on how to calibrate the X and Y axis on your laser engraver. If you have parts that are coming out not quite to size, a little bit too big, a little bit too small, there's a very easy way to calibrate your laser to ensure that your software is sending files at the right scale and that they're coming out the way that you need them to. The first thing you want to do is draw a simple one by one rectangle in your laser software, either RDWorks or Lightburn. Um, the easiest way to do it, you, you don't need to do a one by one. Uh, the bigger you go, the better, the more accurate it's going to be. If you can even do the entire width of your laser, draw a line that's 48 inches wide, 24 inches tall, for example, um, and cut that, it's ideal. But we'll start with a one by one. This kind of gets us really close to what we need. All right, so just send this over to your laser. And then we're just going to cut this out. You can cut this out of any material. I'm just cutting this out of one-eighth acrylic right now. Preferably something a little bit more, um, a little tougher than cardboard or paper, just so that you can get a better read on it. So ideally, I just can't find my calipers right now, but you're going to want to use calipers on something like this. You can see that my one-by-one one square did turn out to be one-by-one, one, extremely close to one-by-one. One. But say this was, it came out as inch and a quarter, an inch and an eighth. Um, what you're going to do, you just go up here in Lightburn anyway to edit machine settings. It's going to read from the controller. Calibrate access right here. Request the distance and actual distance. So what you want to do is choose the axis that you're looking at so say you want to tackle x first you can put in one here so i requested a distance of one as in uh from the software i sent i want one inch on the x dimension but it actually turned out to be 1.25 it's going to change the step length from 4.8 to 6 and what that does it says each step is this much so that it'll hopefully calibrate and spit out the actual right dimension next time. So all you do is click right, then you go to Y, and you do the same thing, whichever dimension it is. So I requested one, and I'm going to do 1.25, if that's what it is. If it actually turned out to be one inch and 10 thou, or two inches, you're going to put in that. The actual distance is the, the dimension that it turned out to be, that this little square was. So you, once you click right, then you just go and send the same square again. You don't change the size. You just send it again. And you cut it again. Then if the square turns out to be a, uh, you know, a little bit too big or a little bit too small, you went a little bit overboard on the correction, you just do the same step again, whatever it turned out to be. And again, hopefully you're using calipers. I just can't find mine. The, uh, the more accurate, the better and the larger the better. If you can take up the entire width of your laser and the entire length of your laser, um, you're gonna have much better results because instead of trying to measure a one by one square and you're a thou off that's multiplied by 50 once you do an entire, like a larger product, um, that, that error, whatever small error you have is gonna uh, really be extrapolated over the larger distance. So if you can draw a 48 wide line or whatever your laser is, do the entire distance, use a tape measure to accurately measure from one end to the other, and you're going to have a better, um, a more accurate result on the output that it sends to the laser. So that's a super quick video on how to calibrate the axis on your laser. Um, if you guys have any questions at all or you have trouble with this process, please drop a line in the comments, send me an email, I'd be happy to help. Um, but with that, happy engraving.